On November 15, 2024, the boxing world will witness a monumental showdown as the legendary Mike Tyson, now 58 years old, steps into the ring against Jake Paul, an up-and-coming sensation 31 years his junior. This clash of generations is set to captivate fans and make history, with both men carrying their own unique legacies into the bout. Tyson, one of the greatest fighters of all time, will face Paul, a controversial figure whose rapid rise in boxing has been met with equal parts skepticism and admiration. As the sport continues to evolve, this fight represents the convergence of two very different eras in boxing. Mike Tyson, famously known as Iron Mike, was once an unstoppable force in the heavyweight division. At just 20 years old, he became the youngest heavyweight champion in history, dominating with his fierce power and aggressive style. Over the years, Tyson's name became synonymous with destruction as he knocked out opponent after opponent, successfully defending his title 10 times. His return to the ring at age 58, however, brings a new chapter in his storied career. Facing a modern-day contender like Jake Paul is a captivating narrative that combines nostalgia with a fresh wave of excitement. Jake Paul, on the other hand, has quickly made a name for himself in boxing after transitioning from his career as a social media personality. Since starting his boxing journey in 2020, Paul has amassed a record of 10 wins and only one loss. He has shown that he is not just another celebrity stepping into the ring for attention, but a serious athlete. Although his victories have often come against opponents older and less experienced than himself, Paul has consistently pushed boundaries and proven his commitment to the sport. His desire to challenge the norms of boxing makes his match against Tyson even more intriguing. As the fight approaches, both men have spoken with confidence about their chances. In a recent interview, Paul expressed his determination, saying, I'm here to make history. I'm here for a challenge. I'm here to fight one of the most dangerous men in all of boxing. No one who ever did anything great got there with ease. I know he's vicious, he's a killer, and he has one-punch knockout power. But I will prove all the haters wrong on November 15th. Paul's confidence reflects his belief that he can overcome the odds and defeat the heavyweight legend. Despite Tyson's vast experience and accomplishments, many pundits have leaned toward Paul as the favorite in this fight. At 31 years younger, Paul's youth and physical advantages give him a distinct edge in the eyes of some analysts. His rigorous training regimen and recent performances have shown that he has the tools to compete at a high level. However, Tyson remains unfazed by the hype. His skill set, honed over decades of fighting the best in the world, is something that cannot be easily dismissed. Tyson's ring IQ and power, even at his advanced age, are still formidable, and he believes his experience will be enough to outweigh Paul's youth. In a training video, Tyson could be heard talking to his team, reflecting on his approach to the fight. You fought against yourself today, he said, coaching himself with the same intensity that made him a legend. Look at the way you reacted. Days like this make a lot of difference in life. The discipline comes before your wishes. Tyson's words show his continued dedication to the sport and his belief that mental discipline is the key to success in the ring. The build-up to the fight has been intense, with both fighters sharing glimpses of their training camps on social media. Tyson has been working on regaining his famous punching combinations, focusing on throwing missiles, as he calls them, rather than single power shots. His legendary trainer, Customato, always emphasized head movement, something Tyson has been sharpening in preparation for Paul's aggressive style. Cuss would say, he moved his head so great, the guy couldn't hit him with a machine gun, Tyson recalled in one of his training sessions. Tyson's ability to slip punches and counter with powerful shots has long been one of his trademarks, and he's looking to reignite that skill for this bout. On the other side, Jake Paul's camp has been equally focused. Paul's trainer has been pushing him to refine his skills and work on his endurance, knowing that Tyson's experience could create significant challenges in the later rounds.
Paul's physical conditioning has been a major focus as he prepares for what could be the toughest test of his career. In addition to sparring, Paul has been incorporating strength training and speed drills to ensure he can compete at Tyson's level, even if the fight becomes a battle of attrition. Expectations and predictions for this fight have been the subject of debate in the boxing community. While some experts believe Paul's youth and physical advantages make him the favorite, others think Tyson's experience and power give him a legitimate chance to pull off an upset. Tyson's legendary status and his ability to take and deliver punches make him a dangerous opponent, even at 58. However, Paul's ability to box smarter opponents and his dedication to improving his craft cannot be overlooked. For Mike Tyson, this fight represents more than just a return to the ring. It's a chance to reaffirm his place in boxing history. A victory over Jake Paul would not only silence the critics who question his return, but also serve as a testament to his enduring skill and determination. Tyson has spoken about the fight as a way to showcase that even at his age, he still has what it takes to compete with the best. I'm still here, Tyson said. I'm still ready to fight, and I'm still one of the most dangerous men in boxing. However, the stakes are high for Tyson. A loss could have significant implications, not only for his reputation, but also for his health. At 58, the risk of injury is much greater and taking too many hits from a younger fighter could exacerbate the health issues he's faced throughout his career. Tyson's return to the ring is seen by some as a gamble, one that could either solidify his legacy or leave it tarnished by defeat. For Jake Paul, this fight is the culmination of his efforts to be taken seriously as a professional boxer. A win over Tyson would elevate Paul's status in the sport providing him with the legitimacy he's been seeking since he first laced up his gloves. Paul's rise from social media star to boxing contender has been nothing short of remarkable, and a victory against Tyson could open the door to even bigger matchups down the line. Paul's brash personality and ability to generate buzz around his fights have made him a polarizing figure, but there's no denying that he's brought a new audience to the sport. The Tyson vs. Paul bout is more than just a fight, it's a clash of eras. Tyson's storied past and Paul's rapid rise represent two contrasting narratives that have captivated boxing fans worldwide. The outcome of this fight will not only determine the future trajectory of both fighters, but also have a lasting impact on the sport itself. For Tyson, it's about legacy and redemption. For Paul, it's about proving that he belongs among boxing's elite. The anticipation for this fight has reached fever pitch, with fans from around the globe eager to see how this extraordinary encounter will unfold. Whether Tyson proves that age is just a number or if Paul continues his ascent as a serious contender remains to be seen. As the fight approaches, the boxing world is buzzing with excitement knowing that this bout has the potential to be a defining moment in the careers of both fighters. The final bell will tell the story, but until then, all eyes are on Tyson and Paul. Will the legend triumph, or will the young upstart shock the world? One thing is certain, on November 15, 2024, the boxing world will witness a fight that transcends generations and cements its place in the history books.